Well, this is it, Albert. What do you think? Looks great, Rose, but there's something I want to talk to you about. Of course, it's been used as a movie house for the past 20 years, but I think it'll work for the TV show. It'll be swell, Rose, but what I wanted to say was... And there should be on the cameras and the lights today... And Rose! I'm sure everything will be perfect. <laughs> but if you could just forget about the Sullivan Show for a minute and come into the back office, there's something very important I want to talk to you about. Well, about you and I, Rose. You and me, English teacher. Rose, I'm serious. I wanted to tell you that I'm very happy you and me are, are out here together. Being, being away from New York, Rose, it's made me see all kinds of things in a different light. Which is why I wanted to tell you, I wrote Mama, and I told her no matter what, I'm giving up Alabama. No, Albert, you did it! I did, Rose. I mailed the day we left, which leaves for three days and three nights to get in contact with me. And so far, not a thing. If you ask me, she's accepted the whole thing by now. <laughs> Come in. Three days and three nights on a trailblaze bus. But what's the difference? I'm only a mother. And for a mother, a trailblaze bus is not enough. Mama, what are you doing? What, did you think I wouldn't come? A woman gets a lot of obviously raped under the influence of drugs and she should just stay home? Pay no attention. It's only a mother's tears. <clears throat> Dear Mom, this is to let you know that Al May Bloom is dissolved. Your friend, Albert. Al May Bloom is dissolved? Dissolve me! Who am I anyway? Just a sick old woman probably won't last the night. I just want a simple stone with one word carved on it. Albert's mother. And don't hire a limousine to give me to the final resting place. She knew it not, but she had done. Mama Rose is right here. Oh, this is Rose. I can't believe it. She looks like Margot when they took her out of Shangri La. For her own sake, Sonny, send her back to Tibet. And don't worry about a secretary. It just so happens I found a perfect secretary. A wonderful, refined girl on her way to Akron. Only I persuaded her to get off here. Sonny. Say hello to Gloria Rasputin. I am. You're pretty cute. But, Mama, I don't need a secretary. I have Rosie. So what does Rosie need a job for? In a year or two, she'll be getting social security. But listen, I don't just cut. You do other things? I cut things. I figured I could help you with the little uh, secretary stuff you can help me get in the show business. Hold this. May I give you hot suahi river? It's my favorite selection. Get a load of this, Al. Da 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 I'm used to working with Miss Alvarez, and do you have to stay down? For a few minutes. May I give me a hand, will you? Now you push from the other side. Sonny, for the movies, they can always cut away while they jack her up. Albert, why don't you take Gloria somewhere and see how fast she types? Well, I do have all these releases I need to get out, and Gloria could do them. Unless it makes any difference to you, Rosie. Oh, why should it make any difference to me? Abadur, Rose, you just keep working and I'll go along with Miss Rasputin. I'll find you a typewriter. Do you use the touch system? Whatever possible.
sweet Miss Alvarez, but I'm looking for Kim McAfee. I'm here to tell her that she is not to kiss Conrad Dirty on that Ed Sullivan show, because if she does, I'll, uh, uh, Miss Alvarez, is everything all right? Oh, Miss Alvarez, it's me, Hugo Peabody. Is there anything I can do for you, Miss Alvarez? Why, yes, Hugo. Ashley. I think you can. Remember after the second